hi welcome back once again and in this video i'm going to teach you how to create http custom premium configuration file if this is your first time here please hit the subscribe button now and also like this video so if you are not having http custom just open your google play store then you will search for http custom Okay, so here is it i've already installed it so i'll just click on open to launch the app after launching the app you need to clear every settings so you will click on the three dots at our top right hand side over here after clicking on it you will select clear or reset config okay, now you can see that everything is cleared so you can go ahead and create our configuration file so we we'll open our browser let me open my browser over here then we will search for www.sshocean.com after opening ssh ocean we will click on this three dashes over here then we will click on services we then go ahead and select web socket ssh web socket sometimes an ad will pop up so just click on this close button to close it then we will scroll down and select our preferred server so let me select let me select canada for this video if you have watched this video to this far please hit the subscribe button now and also like this video then we will scroll down once again to select our ssh web socket but before selecting your web socket you need to take notice of this you need to make sure that the server is online and also you need to make sure that the remaining account is not zero so after checking all this then you click on create account then you scroll down again so this way we are going to type our username and we type our password over here so, so let's type our username over here so let me use great great philip then we will type our password to over here so password let me type what world after typing your username and your password you need to check this box i'm not a robot so you click on this box to check it after it is checked then you click on create now so you scroll down once again and our account have been created successfully so you are going to copy the host name the username and the password then we will take one of the ports over here so we will copy the host name then we will copy the username as well then we will copy the password too after copying all this we'll get back to our http custom here okay so we are going to type our ip our ports our username and our password but we are not having an ip yet so we need to get an ip before we can start creating our account so let's go to this website coughnets.co.za after opening the website you will click on sni backhost generator then you will scroll down okay so when you get here you will click on select a country then you will select your country so i will scroll down and select my country after selecting your country you click on generate okay so when you click on generate you can see that it will give you 
a list of payload and proxy service from your internet service providers so you just select the payload of your internet service provider so let me copy my payload over here you just select okay so i'll copy the payload then i'll copy the proxy ip so my proxy ip is also here i'll select and copy the list of other proxy ips you can select from so when you select your preferred proxy ip then we will get back to the http custom okay so when we get back here we are going to check this box use payload use payload after checking this box we will click on the three dashes over here then we will click on payload okay so we are actually going to type our payload over here then you will type your ip our port our username and the password to over here so let's paste our payload over here the payload we copied from covenant so let me paste it over here okay so after pasting your payload you need to replace this side the side ws the web socket with your host name the host name you copied so you will select then you will clear the one already there and after clearing you will replace it with the host name you copied so my host name is here so i'll replace it with the host name then i'll get back here so this is where i'm going to type my ip ip so after typing your ip you separate it with this colon then you add your ports so the ports i'll be using 80 80 then to type your username to you need to introduce at the at symbol at then you paste your username so i've already copied my username so i'll just paste it here the username is here then you separate that one too with colon the colon is here then i'll paste my password my password also here after making all these settings you click on apply okay so we are going to type our ip our ports our username and the password also here so let's type the ip also you can just go back and copy what you type there then you come and paste it over here so our ip then we separate it with clone again then you introduce our ports which is 80 then i will add the at symbol then i will type my username the one i copied i will just paste it over here then i'll add another column then i will type my password so my password is over here then i'll paste it okay, so now that we are done let's try and see if our file really works so i'll click on connect then let me click on log and see boom okay so sometimes an ad will pop up again so you just click on this close again to close it and boom our file is ready to use our next video will be about how to export http custom configuration file so that you can share it with others if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button now and also don't forget to like this video thank you for watching Thank you.